I can understand why some people find this piece a little put off. What's up people, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be chatting about the Bell & Ross Green Lum? Lum? Lum. I think they meant Loom. Visibility or legibility has always been the core foundation of BR's design language. Hence, when it comes to having good legibility, Baron Ross takes the seat up there among the very best, regardless of whether it's day or night. Nice. Unless you are Superman, mere mortals like us will require technological assistance to help read the time in the dark. New watches are a thing ever since radium, mixed with zinc sulfide, was discovered in 1898. In the 1960s, radium was replaced with tritium and promethium as it was thought that radium may be more hazardous due to its radiation compound. Since the early 2000s, we now have our Lum, Luminescence or Superluminova, as you call it, assisting us in reading the time at night. Founded in 1992 as a university project, Baron Ross' innovation in creating good legibility watches didn't just end with having big indices, uncluttered dial, and matte dial to prevent glare and reflection. In 2017, Baron Ross launched their LUM collection. I really hope that's what they mean. Baron Ross launched the LUM collection with greater emphasis to help with legibility at night. With innovation starting from Lume hands, Lume indices, Lume dial, and even a Lume strap. With the idea that one should not be limited to just admiring the dial of the watch, whether it's day or night, Baron Ross took things up one notch and now presents you with this glow stick. <coughs> I mean, glowy cube. The BRX5 case design is Baron Ross' latest sportier and more futuristic vessel that also has the circle in a square with four screws. Before we begin with the review, I would really appreciate if you could support the channel by hitting that like, subscribe and bell icon as it will help me to carry on to make more videos like this and to ensure that the world will not end in the next 7 days. Thank you. The way this BRX5 case is designed may differ a little with the other BRX5 cases. This uses a grade 2 microblasted titanium with diamond-like carbon finishing that holds the movement inside. The inner container has a rounded curvature as seen here, which is different from the BRX5 steel models. It has a bigger and deeper hollow area which probably requires some cleaning over time. The upper and lower green layers you see clipping onto the container are made out of two pieces of luminescence fiberglass composite, also known as LM3D, are held on by screws. Hence, you will see the break where the two pieces meet. The LM3D looks kinda plasticky if you ask me. I mean a little. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. The bezel is also a grade 2 microblasted titanium with an LM3D bezel insert. The screw down crown and the crown guards are also in grade 2 titanium, likewise with the case back. The strap here is a black openwork rubber reference number BP046 that is integrated with the case. The FDI012 folding buckle has a diamond like carbon finish matching the case. The name Baron Ross is of course engraved on it. Underneath the smoke grey sapphire crystal with AR coating is the caliber BRCAL323, a manufactured automatic made by Canacy, a movement that is also used in brands like Tudor and Breitling. A rather reliable movement as you can see here that it has a full balance bridge and a free sprung balance wheel to help with the shock resistance and better accuracy. Hence, it is COSE certified. The rotor seems to also have diamond-like color finishing. The predominant color scheme you see here on the dial is black and loom. Yes, the dial that is made out of a centerpiece, the outer ring, the date, and a circular pattern power reserve bullseye are all matte black. 
However, upon closer inspection, you will notice that the words printed on it, the panorama date frame, the date numerals, the power reserve bullseye, and the printed minute track are all in white. Whereas the applique indices filled with black varnish has similar tone with the LM3D case. Last but not least, the hour, minute, second and power reserve hands and the printing could be painted on the Rehort have a brighter yellow hue compared to its case. To some, this may be a put off and to others, this could be PR subtle way to bring colorization onto a not so boring watch. I can understand why some people find this piece a little put off. Well, to each his own I guess. However, for me personally, I find this piece to be rather interesting. The watch gives out a vibe that is quirky, young at heart, sporty and fun as you can see on my 16cm circumference wrist. As it is a sportier piece, you will probably get stared at when wearing it with a cuff shirt. Because of the hollow gap in between the upper and lower LM3D inserts, your cuffs will most likely get caught in between the space. I really like the wearing experience of this watch. It's light and the rubber strap really gives it a good comfort. To be honest, I'm really surprised with the wearing experience. Because it has a 100m of water resistance, imagine wearing this to a dive looming with the fishes. Now that we've dealt with the first elephant in the room, which is the loom, let's talk about the second one, i.e. the date. Many have asked why is there a need to have a triple date. In my humble opinion, I think this serves as a dual purpose. The elongated date window in a way complements the power reserve subdial at the 9 o'clock. The second reason is whenever the minute hand runs over the date and covers it, the preceding and succeeding dates help to identify what is the actual date. When adjusting the date, the Kennedy manufacturer gives the date a good slap at 12.02 am. <laughs> Last but not least, limited to only 500 pieces, this is currently retail at this price and if you would have gotten it a month ago, it was retail at this price. Talk about inflation. Anyway, if you want to check out this piece and you are around the area, do check out Baron Ross at the Exchange TRX where I got my hands on this piece or at your local distributor. Can't believe they actually allowed me back in to review their watches. If you don't know what I'm talking about, do check out my previous video where I attempted to rob Baron Ross. The link is in the description below. In conclusion, the BRX5 Green Lum isn't a watch you need, but it definitely can be a good option for you to have for those casual moments. Personally, I think it is a pretty interesting timepiece. However, if Bell & Ross truly wanted to go all out with the Lum, they should have Lum the date, the brand name, and the 3 days power reserve wordings. Anyway, that's just my two cents. Until the next one. Thank you for watching.